Hello friends, I welcome you into a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him? Just give him all the glory and all the praise. He's the general overseer of the entire universe. Somebody help me appreciate him. It's entirely a new day. He spared your life and mine to glorify him in a new day. Can we enter into his gates with thanksgiving? Let's enter into his cause with praise. Lord, you are worthy. Let's bow before his majesty. We celebrate you in a new day. Father, you reign. Kadush. You are mighty on your throne. There is none like unto you. You are the beauty of Zion. We bless you, our Father, the governor of all nations. We make you big in a new day. And we tell you we love you. Hallow be your name. Blessed be God. You are the resurrection and the life. You conquered global pandemic. You conquered the power of the grave. We celebrate you, our King. And we adore you and we honor you. Sweet Holy Spirit. Spirit will welcome you into a new day. Zinek Lenanemus in Rakalagadabushanda. And we tell you we love you. Hello will be your name. Lalia la 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 bush. And the regade de la gade de la gade. Lalia Kagadabagadosh. What a beautiful day the Lord has made. Zania Akash. Abragadosh. She will remain your covering. Asana Katiana Nagadosh. Abragadosh. Nothing to fear. Esokuru Dubu Shabaragada. Is the God that goes ahead of you and I. Legada Delegados. To level our enemies. Maliandi Legada Delegados. To level every mountain and every valley. Asunu Kutiyama Nagadosh. Abragadosh. She goes it's ahead of us is the almighty malish alada bagadash <laughs> cheer up if the lord be for us who can be against us now let's go mm. on to the o god on to the o god do i lift up my soul on to the O God, on to the O God, do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, I will trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. Unto the O God, unto the O God, do I lift up my soul. Unto the O God, unto the O God, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I will trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Remember not, remember not the sins of my youth. Remember not, remember not the sins of my youth. Oh my God, I will trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Show me thy way. Show me your way. Your way, O oh God, your way, O oh God, show me your path, show me your path, your path, O oh God. Oh my God, I will trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph. Over me, oh my God, I will trust in you. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph.
Vani. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Pray it as a prayer. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional and Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes their way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God. All days, there's a kalash, abada bada, ha ha, bush, and delegate And our topic for today says, God has a way of figuring out the solution. Malia kagadaba gadush, azuna katia mana gadush, shantarabakura bashanda. So, briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from 2 Kings 4, verse 1 to 7. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be born men. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what has thou in thy house? And she said, The handmaid hath not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow, not a few. And when thou art coming, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more, and the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and leave thou and thy children of the rest. Permit me to start by saying that as a child of God and with God on your side, you can never be stranded on the highway of destiny. From our Bible reading today, you will notice that God has a plan for all his children and even help for the helpless. In fact, this portion of the scripture teaches us that no matter whatever mountain that is facing you and I as God's children, God, your father and my father has a way of figuring out the solution. Now hear me, even before the problem or trouble came, there was already a solution designed by God to ensure that we will still be standing even after the storm. Now if you look at verse 1, you will notice that there were complications of issues, ranging from the fact that the woman in issue was a widow, whose husband was one of the sons of the prophet before his demise. The Bible recorded that her late husband was a man that feared God, apart from the fact that he was one of the prophets Elisha's mentees. As if that was not enough, since her husband's demise, her creditors couldn't allow her to rest as she could not pay her bills. In fact, the plan was to take her two sons away as slaves so they can work as bondmen until all the indebtedness is taken care of. Her case was a kind of hopeless and helpless one as she doesn't know what to do and how she could make it. From verse 1 of our text, it's very clear that the family in question is one that feared the Lord because she said to Elisha in verse 1b, And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, which means there was a relationship between them and God. It's important we note that aspect because most often when problems come to people with a relationship with God, people think it's maybe they have done one evil or the other and that's why God decided to punish them. No, it's not. It will interest you to know that it's been like this from the time of Papa Abraham, who was called a friend of God, yet without a child, until he was 100 years old. Yet he was answering a father of nations and a friend of God. In fact, when Isaac was born, 
God had to graciously extend the years of Abraham to 75 years to ensure that he sees his grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren before he collected his perpetual burden pass at the very good old age of 175 years. And he slept. And the Bible recorded, and he slept. Friends, what am I saying? There is no situation you are presently facing now that God cannot turn around for his glory. And that's why the Bible says in Romans 8.28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Now hear me, your case may be as complicated as the case of this widow, or even worse. But the good news is that the God we serve is equal to the task. So cheer up. I'm sure at the time she was crying and pouring out her heart to Elisha, she never had a clue that God had already prepared Elisha as a solution, uh, an answer to her prayers. I came with a good news for someone on the line this morning. God told me he had already made available the solution to whatever challenge or helpless situation you are facing at the moment. So don't throw in the towel yet. I believe this is specifically for some persons. And if you believe it, let me hear your amen louder from the other side. Amen. Now hear this, friends. When you are at the end of the rope, always remember that the Almighty God can never be at the end of the rope. And when you are helpless, never forget that He got all the help you need. Come on. Now look at verse 2 of our text. I think it has an explanation to what I have just said. The Bible recorded, Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me. Friend, that is to say, as the widow was wondering about her helpless condition and double jeopardy, God had already sent help to her through Elisha. And I hear the Lord asking someone on the line today, what shall I do for you? Of course, you know, that's an open check, which you must respond to personally. Now hear me. An open check from God is a privileged check that doesn't come always. So once you come across it, I suggest you maximize every opportunity. For more about open check, I encourage you to visit my YouTube channel at Messages by Joy Obonaya titled Night of Open Check. I'm quite convinced that those series will surely be a blessing to you. Now, as we pray, you will notice another important question Elisha asked her, and that is, what do you have? And she responded, your handmaid had not anything in the house, except a pot of oil. Then Elisha said, go borrow vessels, empty vessels, not a few. Friends, never forget, she already had a pot of oil in her house which triggered off multiplication and overflow of wealth in her tabernacle. Can I let you know that most often the miracle you are running around looking for, traveling very far to fetch, is right there within your tabernacle. And it's looking at you as you are seated in your home. But I pray for you today that God will connect you to the solution to that need today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now hear this. Do you know that the whole containers and vessels she went and borrowed were all full? And that is to say, if she had borrowed one million containers, the one million containers would have all been filled up and she would still have surplus. She would still have an overflow. As we get ready to pray, permit me to say that sometimes God can bring you to a point where you can be looking at your needs and problem eyeball to eyeball, plus your inability to solve the problems. In fact, it's at such point that he steps in as the Almighty God, just to make a point. Now hear me, friend. If you can handle that particular problem that is causing you sleepless night, then you don't need God. But of course, you know you cannot handle it. Presently, you are helpless, so you need him. And that's why we come on this platform daily to pray because prayer is the most powerful tool that changes all situations finally the widow was able to pay her debt and still had overflow from the proceeds of the oil business come on who says god doesn't have the key to the solution of every need and excruciating challenges as we pray god sent me this morning with a word of encouragement to someone on the line god said he is on your case and your case is not bigger than him he's only processing you and you are coming forth as gold from the refiner's shop if that is you let me hear your amen from the other side amen 
Amen. Hear me, friend, as we pray. Your life is a big bot for the advertisement of his almightiness. So as we pray, there is an open check before you this morning. And at the top of the open check is written, What shall I do for you in this season? Now join me. Let's respond to the open check in the language of prayer. Let us pray. Now just before we pray, because we take time to pray this morning, I would like to first of all pray for someone who has listened to this broadcast and you are still battling with sin. Can I let you know that a life without Christ is in crisis? So if you are a sinner or a backslider, just quickly say after me. My Father in heaven, I come to you this morning. I'm a sinner. I'm a backslider. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. And give me the power and the grace to serve you and to live for you all the days of my life. Thank you for serving me. Thank you for serving me. In Jesus' mighty name, we prayed. Amen. Congratulations to everyone who has just made this prayer. I would like you to contact me with your name and where you connected from. The details are on the screen. Kalia Kagadaba Legede de Lagadouche says, let's go. Now, just before we proceed, there is this song that we used to sing in the early days when I gave my life to Christ um, over three decades ago. This song says, mm, He will fill my mouth today to overflowing as the Lord commanded me. Bring your verses, not a few. He will fill my mouth today to overflowing with the Holy Ghost and power. Holy Ghost and power. He will fill my mouth today to overflowing as the Lord commanded me. Bring your verses, not a few. For he will fill my mouth today to overflowing with the Holy Ghost and power. Sense, let's go. Let's go in the tongues of the angels. God is here. He that speaketh in tongues speaketh mysteries. And do the open checks in the tongues of mystery. If you cannot speak in tongues, receive the baptism of the tongues of fire right now, this morning, wherever you are hearing me from. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Amen. Kaliya kagada balegede de lagada. Zinne kalegede de mos indra kalagada balegede. Zukoro goro de boshi kalagada de bos. Sundara kagada balegede. Zikalegede de lagada de bos. Indra kalagada de mos. Kalagada balegede. Zelegede de balegede. Malian de legede de legede de bos. Indra kalagada de balegede de legede. Kalian de legede de legede de bos. Sundara kagada de legede. Pray in tongues. Believer, pray. All things are possible in this atmosphere this morning. Pray. Zikalegede de mos indra kalagada de balegede. Zune kalagada de mos indra kalagada de bos. Eleke leke te bala kata bala kata malian dere gede dere gede suno koro koro dere bos indara gada dere gede zele gede dere bele gede lene kala nama sindra kala gada dere bos shanti dere gede dere gede dere gede dere bos shina kala nama malian dere gede dere gede I'm very convinced God has come down to respond to your case. Believe I pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Zika le gada dere gede zundo dere gada dere bos kala gada dere gede zele gada dere bele gede malian dere gede dere gede suno koro koro dere bos kala gada dere bos dere gede dere gede we the whole Holy Ghost and power, zuno koro koro dabo shikala gada dale gade dale gade, zuno koro koro dabo shikala gada dale gade. With the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and power, zuno koro koro dabo shikala gada dale gade, malian dale gade dale gade, zuno koro koro dabo shikala gada dale gade, zale gada dabo la gada dale gada dale gada dabo sunde gada dale gade. No switch up, cable should be weak this morning. Believe I pray, zuno koro koro dabo shikala nama, malian dale gade dale. Now we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We thank you for hearing our prayers. With the Holy Ghost. Lord, we give you all the honor. Since you can continue from here after now, I came to stir the waters. Lord, we give you thanks. We worship you. We exalt the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayers. 
be released upon your sons and daughters. Thank you, O God, for a season of answered prayers. Be thou exalted, be thou magnified. Thank you, our Father. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Thank you for hearing the prayers of your sons and daughters. Thank you for the season of the harvest of answers to prayers. We give you thanks. Thank you, O God, for Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. Thank you for what you are doing on this global platform. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Be thou exalted and be magnified for testimonies awaits you in Zion. And I declare and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast that in this season, the God of overflow will give you and your family overflow of his immeasurable blessings. In the matchless name of Jesus, amen. And I speak peace. Peace on every side. Take all the glory, our Father. And reign forever, the king that never dies. But we prayed with thanksgiving, and we know it is settled. In Jesus' matchless name, we prayed. Amen. Congratulations. I'm waiting to hear your testimony. Details on the screen. Go rule your day in partnership with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit.